90 Day Fiance is full of memorable people. One of them is Darcy. Today I'm going to cover the 10 most memorable Darcy scenes. Let's get into the video. Number 10, Darcy hints to Jesse about proposing. Among one of their very first dates, Jesse, who was almost 20 years her junior, takes Darcy out bike riding in Amsterdam. Everyone has their own idea about what a perfect date looks like. Apparently Jesse's is taking his girlfriend on a bike ride, even though she's clearly a little uncomfortable. Not the most familiar with bike riding, especially in the middle of a busy city, Darcy laughs and yells as she struggles to maintain control. Though maintaining a good sense of humor, turning it around, she suggests that they visit Diamond Museum and mentions her diamond ring, suggesting perhaps someday it should be replaced by something more official. I think it might, might end, so we'll I see have what to happens. Well, look, that's why people love you, because on a reality show, you are being real. I feel you're being 100% Darcy all the time. Number 9, Darcy and Tom's first night together. Still reeling from her toxic relationship with Jesse, Darcy has a hard time settling in with Tom on their first night in an Airbnb he purchased them in London. Surprised he arranged for them to be in two separate rooms, Darcy states that she likes his room better, suggesting not that they switch, but rather hinting that they sleep together for the night. Tom isn't sure how to deal with her overflowing emotions. The night becomes awkward as both the dolls are faced with Darcy's need to heal from her previous relationship. Tom! Wow! I live in Nottingham, so while we're in London, I've rented a nice Airbnb. Very spacious, very well. Number 8, Darcy and Jesse try to have a family dinner. Towards the tail end of their destructive relationship, Jesse gaslit Darcy on the day that they're supposed to make dinner for themselves and Darcy's two teen daughters. Jesse becomes incredibly passive aggressive, stating everything he does from that point on is for the kids, even though it's really out of spite, often making the girls uncomfortable. Closed off right now. I just want you to be excited. It's kind of like, you know, a test to see what it would be like if we got married. Number 7. Tom tricks Darcy into thinking he's proposing. Though Tom has only just been introduced to Darcy timeline, there are already some red flags. His resistance to accommodate her and try to mold her into someone she isn't makes it more and more apparent that there is manipulation going on. In his trying to tame the lively, glamorous, and particular Darcy, he subtly tricks her by showing her a box and presenting it importantly. Smart on her behalf, Darcy gets excited but downplays it as well as to not act too quickly only to be presented with a huge, gaudy-looking key to his house. It's not something that you are unfamiliar with, I should say. You've, done, you've been here before, and here you are again this season, though, with a guy named Tom. Yep. Number six, Tom shows up at Darcy's door. In a petty act, Tom shows up at Darcy's house in Connecticut to give her his letter. It's an awkward event, as Stacy is the first one to answer the door, responding, are you kidding me right now? After seeing Tom and bowing her head in secondhand embarrassment, he calls after Darcy, who doesn't take any of Tom's words seriously, when he claims he's apologizing for his abusive and childish behavior. What is it? Random. Oh, Unbelievable. Number 5, Darcy's heel gets stuck. Perhaps in a moment of foreshadowing of what's to come, Darcy is in the airport on her way to meet Jesse for the first time when her pointed heel gets stuck in the escalator. While it's a funny happenstance, the anxiety is palpable as Darcy becomes stressed over barely being able to walk in her scuffed up new shoes before joining someone who thinks she is the love of his life. Oh, before Darcy catches Tom in a lie and breaks up with him. When Darcy and Tom are attempting a long distance, she carries a picture of him on social media with another woman. Rightfully angry at him, she prepares herself to confront him and end their relationship altogether. When they meet in New York for the last time, Tom continues accusing her of manipulation and not letting him have any power in their relationship. She brings up the other woman to him, catching him in his lie. His face suddenly shifts, having been found out, and he responds awkwardly, yeah, and they break up. Number 3, Darcy makes herself up during quarantine. Quarantine at everyone in some sort of way. In an update for 90 Day Fiance, Darcy films herself and her family talking about how their lives have been affected during the pandemic. Humorously, she and her sister Stacy attempt doing their own nails. Darcy also shows off her makeup routine, broken acrylics, and hair extensions falling out. Number two, Darcy freshens up at the airport bathroom. Before her first in-person meeting with Tom, Darcy uses her womanly know-how to freshen up after a long flight from the US to the UK. Taking advantage of the fact that the driver is there to pick her up instead of Tom, Darcy spends approximately 45 minutes with her things thrown about the airport bathroom, cleaning, redressing, and dousing her perfume on herself. Gotta smell like an angel. Number 1. Darcy Stands Up For Rose Darcy stood up for Rose when Big Ed went on the attack on the tell-all episode. While not being outright rude to Ed and rather taking a more diplomatic approach, 
Darcy explains how Ed is selfish and manipulative, much like what she went through with Jesse and Tom. She also lifts Rose up and says she should be treated like a queen. The statement causes the other women to stand up against Ed and support Rose, as well in a positive domino effect. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.